Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Hi, I'm Marco. And I'm Lauren. And we're <laughs> here to talk about our cultures. Yeah, we're going to be doing it by sharing some of our favorite foods with each other. So, right now we're <laughs> going to Marco's favorite Mexican yes, restaurant. Yes, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. I have not lot of been there yet. So you're going to enjoy it. I promise. I promise you're going to enjoy it. What, what's what's that I'm, mean? I've been excited for this like all week. So I chose my place because it's just like a really nice homey uh, just restaurant. Um, the food there is actually from the place where I grew up from. So whenever we go there, we get like this vibe like we're back home and like we're enjoying the foods that we would be eating there. It's It, it feels really, really nice just getting to have that like sense of community even though you're like so far away i'm excited to see what you pick out for me because oh, yeah. you may have told me yes. but i definitely forgot so i told you we'd be eating gorditas yes and espinaca de yes yes, yes. yes. <laughs> that's the part that i i like i know lauren's gonna love that i know she's gonna like that um and I don't know. Oh, and uh, aguas. You remember that? Yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Water. <laughs> well, not just water. Like they're special <laughs> waters. No, but they're they're really good. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. Like, and not just that, but like our cultures and stuff. It's gonna be like something that I feel a lot of people dive into, but like we don't really get the chance to just like talk just about our cultures and talk about like how food has impacted us. You know? Yeah. Um, you said you were born in Mexico. I was, When yeah. did you come here? I was three years old when I came to America, to the United States of America. And for me, it wasn't that big of a transition because I was so little. Yeah, because you were three. I was literally three. Yeah. But for my parents and for my brother in particular, it was very hard transitioning to middle school and to like oh, a new okay. lifestyle and oh. work. I, I can't imagine how hard it was for them. So for us, it was always like a situation of, how are we gonna, you know, fit in? Throughout that phase, we were just like, you know what, let's eat out. Let's find places where like, we'll eat. And we just saw like, places like McDonald's and like KFC and I don't know what else. And America. America finest. food. Uh, it was like, just a big struggle for us, I wanna say. Just like, being able to find a place where we fit. Having to find how our culture um, was a part of all this American society, like how everything was surrounding it, how like our culture fit into that. Literally, probably in middle school is when it hit me, I was like, what's my role? What am I supposed to do? So I started questioning everything like, is this my culture? Is, it, is the American society my culture? Is the Mexican society my culture? Like, what did I end up becoming? And for me, it was more like not being one thing or the other and just like learning to love both sides of like how I grew up and learning to um, respect both cultures and learning that I can have both and I can still enjoy um, everything that I've grown up having, you know, mm -hmm. especially the food, especially, especially the food. Especially the food. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're here. We're here. <laughs> You're going to love it. Trust me. <laughs> Uh, no, no, creo. Uh -huh. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> De nada. De nada. So, how are you feeling? Um, this is really yummy. Yeah? Okay. All right, so these are called gorditas, mm -hmm. right? I got one that was steak with beans. Yep. And the other one is spicy pork. Okay. With, um beans as well cool and here's this espinaca dip <laughs> which is better when it's hot okay uh -huh. this is una gordita de harina con carne asada uh -huh. and now this one is una gordita de harina con carne asado I'm ready. you got like All a sandwich right. and then you just take a bite some good stuff right there. Some good stuff. 
How good? That was really good. <laughs> no? I mean, it tingles a little. Really? Wow. Just a little. Because uh, the ramen gets you in the back of the throat. Not That'll be fine. Those are different. You That'll know? be okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> what was scaring me, really? Like, I was like... <laughs> Can she handle the heat? <laughs> I can handle the heat. I'm oh so proud gosh. of you. Thank I'm actually you. like happy that like, first of all, this wasn't some sort of a traumatic experience. Was it traumatic? I know. No. And that like, you know, we got to hang around and like just be able to enjoy food from like my culture. <laughs> Having like this here somewhere close by that I can enjoy with my family. And I'm so glad that like you could enjoy it. Mm -hmm. That like makes me so happy and so grateful to have like, First of all, this in my stomach, but like having, yeah, right. having the people around me to enjoy that with me. So I really enjoyed that. Now, last thing, which one of all of these was your favorite? I think actually the first gordita, the really? non-spicy one. The non-spicy one. That was really good. Yeah, it's, no. I, I like, good. all of these are my favorite. <laughs> but like the first gordita, I can see why you like it so much. Hey, we're um, gonna visit your side of the culture. And it'll yep. be a lot of fun. And yeah. I can't wait to see what you have in store for me. Yeah, we'll see you no. next time. <laughs> Hi. Hi, we're back. We're back. And today is Lauren's day. It's my day. Ah! Lauren, tell me about your culture your heritage. My culture heritage. Okay, well, I am half white, quarter Hispanic, quarter Korean. Okay. And all of the ethnicity comes from my dad's side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all of it. All of it. So your dad's half Korean and half Hispanic. Correct. Okay. The way, like, because last time we talked, uh, we were talking about, like, my Hispanic culture, and you mentioned how you're not as close to your Hispanic side, but, like, you are closer to your Korean side, right? I am a little, I'm a little bit closer. Okay. Yeah. Um, how come? Uh, so, this goes way back. Uh -huh. My grandma uh, married a, like, Hispanic, and my dad and my aunt stayed with my Korean grandmother. Right. She was Korean. So I've grown up kind of knowing her and, like, getting to experience all the foods that she cooks for me and, like, hearing the Korean that she talks with her friends. And right. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Whenever we go to, like... <laughs> a Korean restaurant because whenever we visit her, she likes to take us out to get Korean food. Right. Uh, she always talks uh, in like really fast Korean with the waitresses and stuff. Yeah. And we all just kind of sit there like we don't know what she's saying. <laughs> well, that's really cool. Yeah. Korea is South and Korea. was yes yeah, South Korea. We I am South Korean because if I was North Korean, I would not be here today. <laughs> I, I love how you always have to clarify that, like, yeah. South Korea. We are from South Korea, Busan, Busan. is where my family comes from. They would do air raid drills just to, like, be safe. And they lived in a pretty small town when they moved back, I think. So, like, they could do this, but whenever they did this, they would do, usually do them at night. Mm -hmm. Just to, like, keep them on their toes, you know? Okay. So, um... Whenever they would do said air raid drills, all mm -hmm. everybody in that town had to turn off their lights and turn off all the electricity and stuff and make it look like like the town was like dead or like nothing was there. So yeah. that airplanes above them like couldn't see it and wouldn't drop bombs and stuff on them. Right. Yeah. So uh whenever they would do this, it was always when my grandma's favorite uh soap opera was on. <laughs> oh, yeah. So she would um Whenever she would hear the sirens, she would make my dad put up mattresses in front of all of the windows <laughs> so that she could keep the TV on while the raid was, while the drill was like Wait. happening. <laughs> Pretty sure this is what my dad was over here. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm almost positive. Yeah. He and my aunt would like go out and get dragonflies uh, and tie sh a string to their tail and like walk them like dogs. It's just like the dragonfly in the air. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's wait. Like something I've always wanted to try. It's just the concept is so like wild. How big of an influence is your Korean culture here? 
Um, not much, and I wish it were more. Mm. I have grown up very American, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Because I was born in California, moved to middle of America, Kansas. Middle of American Kansas, yes. <laughs> Uh, and then and I was kind of raised here and I didn't get to I haven't been able to like experience what it's like to live with a very like Korean culture it's something I wish I could be more a part of and I wish I had more knowledge about and this is food is like my most direct link yeah uh, back to this like side of my family and my family's past so yeah. That's really cool. I'm much closer with my mom's side of the family because they live closer, which yeah. is one of the reasons why I'm not very close to my like Korean side because I grew up with my very American grandmother making like cookies and stuff, you know. Yeah. But uh, she really she appreciates the Korean culture almost as much as my dad, and yeah. she loves like eating Korean food and kimchi and stuff like that with us. Let's roll out. All right, we're gonna go. What do you think? So this is pronounced ramune. 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 And and they're like Korean sodas, right? And so what you do is you take off the wrapping, and then there's like this cap thingy, and you separate it. And then it has like a pusher or whatever. So you use that, the pusher, and you put it onto the cap again, which is right there, the blue thingy. And then you put it and you slam it. And then a little marble goes in here, but it doesn't go all the way, it gets stuck. And it carbonates the whole thing. And you drink it. And it's like soda. <laughs> what are you excited for? So I'm really excited for the ramen because according to Lauren it's spicy and I do have a limit. That was us! That was us! We got the food! <laughs> are you so, excited? I really am excited because, okay, well first of all the ramen, second the gimbap, I love gimbap. That's yeah. the only Korean food that I know I've had and you told me about it because we were eating it at the same time once and I loved it. So I'm just excited for like all the foods. So Marco, after we've already gone into the restaurant and into the Oriana Market, wants to go back into the restaurant because he forgot to get his boba tea. I want boba tea! <laughs> there we go. There okay. we go. Okay. So here's some kimchi. Um, kimchi? Ooh. Yeah. It's just kimchi. Yeah. I love these so much. What are they? They're like little fruit, I think they're vegetables actually. Uh, here's, I think this is just miso soup. Here's our uh, kimbap. So here's the old bulgogi wrap. Yeah. So they don't traditionally come in wraps. Right. Bulgogi is more, um, a dish by itself. Yeah. But Ooh. here's the ramen. Uh, ready? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, we're going on. We're going for it. Hmm. Yeah. Like, it's salty at first, uh -huh. like bitter and sour, but mm -hmm. then it like gets all sweet. It's hot. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's good. That's really good. Super chewy. Yeah. <laughs> really good flavor. Yeah. Kind of like a Philly steak sandwich. <laughs> One thing uh, my dad taught me when you have chopsticks, so when they're like cheap wood chopsticks mm -hmm. is you have to like brush off the splinters at the end mm -hmm. so you don't hurt yourself so no how was that spicy spicy no Ooh. that's delicious yeah wait yeah no i'm fine yeah yeah, yeah i'm fine oh my gosh Yummy! <laughs> okay. Kimchi. 
Cheers. <laughs> now that's spicy. Ooh. Yeah. Wait. Ah. <laughs> Is it Wait. too spicy? Not too spicy, but definitely spicier than the ramen. What the heck? I haven't had spicy right? Try it. No, yeah, they made it that way spicier. Mm, yeah, it's going to to it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For me, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Boro. Boro. So, I'm okay. So airy, like... If anything, like a dried marshmallow, flowery, flowery. Mm -hmm. I love them so wow. much. Wow. Wow, just wow. I got. <laughs> this is like... Brown Noir. Exactly, but. Uh... Brownie chocolate chip cookies. Your little paws. <laughs> Marco does this little pause anytime he likes a food that he hasn't tried before. He like bites it and he goes. <laughs> For the boba! Yay! <laughs> I'm in heaven right now. <laughs> it tastes like strawberry yogurt. Mm -hmm. And that's the best thing that I can come up with. But the reason why I love it so much is because it reminds me of a Mexican drink that I always had as a kid turned into like a food review oh yeah no a lot more than that because like it was more like you know let's try some food today but like it's been Marco more about like my favorite food i so. try lauren's favorite food no and i feel like you sharing these with me has like not like only showed me like your like culture like but like it has also shown me like what you like and your interests yeah. like i don't know why but i just didn't imagine Lauren liking spicy food. <laughs> yeah. I never would have imagined that. And just like seeing that outlook, like now some of these are like my favorite foods. I love the ones <laughs> freaking much. Yeah. I loved it. No, like if you ever really do want to go back there and you need <laughs> someone to like accompany you, I'd be more than happy to. Okay. Because, and if it's for the ramen especially, yes, please. And boba. Oh my gosh, this, this is like, <laughs> I, I finished it all, but like, <laughs> My favorite thing, like my favorite thing, so honestly. You... Um, Lauren, I've I really enjoyed this whole situation. Just like getting to show you my side of my heritage, but also like your side, mm -hmm. and you getting to show me like I already enjoy like so many things about the Korean culture. Obviously, like the food and everything, but like you definitely like opened my horizons a little bit more. Yeah. And I'm glad like I got to see the side of you a little bit more because mm. I feel like we don't really get to see each other. Like, from our heritage point of view, like, where we come from, we don't see our roots, like, who they are, or, like, what they're doing at that specific moment. And right now, with all the technology and everything, like, socially that's going on, we don't even, like, confront it a lot. Which I feel like is something that's, like, not a bad thing, but it definitely should be celebrated a lot more. Mm -hmm. And it should definitely be a topic that friends should be, like, comfortable, like, talking about. Now concludes Marco and Lauren sharing their cultures with each other. What are we? Food. What are we um, gonna call this? I don't know. <laughs> that was a really long. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, see. We'll figure that out later. This now concludes title here. Title. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.